Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video which I am so excited to bring you. The holiday vlogs are finally here. So today's video is going to be a pack with me because we fly tomorrow and I'm I'm so excited, right? But I'm not excited for the time we have to get up. We have to get up at 1am. Our flight is at 6 we have the car booked in for two, so we have to get off at one. It takes half an hour to get there, so we'll leave it like half one. Park the car up, get the bus to the airport, check in, etc. Not sure what the queue's going to be like, but we're flying with Jet 2 for our holiday. And Jet 2 apparently have had no issues, but they've had delays with the flight. So, fingers crossed, what? Fingers crossed, everything's going to be alright. But I keep seeing two magpies, if you believe in that. So hopefully everything's going to go to plan. We shall see. If it don't, then, you know, conversation happens, so works out in the end i'm gonna take you through everything that i've got i've laid everything out so you can see exactly what i'm taking i haven't got everything in here i need to get the other suitcase out of the shed because i'm bringing my little like pull along suitcase for the airport and you know, you know like it's hand look hand luggage so i was gonna take a like a hold all but i'm like i don't really want to be carrying anything i'd rather just drag it around the airport i'll turn you around and i'll show you everything that i've got packed up i've tried on outfits earlier on so i know exactly what i need so yeah let's just go through it Firstly, let's let's just ignore the mess for a start. But this is quite neat, to be fair. So I'm taking five pairs of shoes. I know there's four here, but I'm going to be wearing my feelers trainers to the airport. So I have a pair of shoes from Primark, 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 and then Ivy Park sliders. So everything goes with every single outfit. Not exactly, but I've planned it like, you know. So I have all my bikinis here. This is a like swimsuit bikini thing, which I bought from an Instagram store like three years ago now when I went to Zanti. Um, and then I've got this one from a Primark haul and then another Primark bikini which is a really nice crochet one if you want to see any of my outfits they will be up on the ground for sure and then I have another bikini here from Primark which is so so nice I love that one it fits really really nicely and then I have a black one from Blooming Jelly I'm pretty sure I thought I'd might as well just take one black bikini so otherwise i wanted like loads of color in this holiday but there's not that much color if i'm honest so i've got the goggles because fuck am i seeing underwater and uh i literally look like an alien with these on my face which is quite funny i am bringing the gopro with me as well which is currently on charge i have my i'm pretty sure this is my ibiza towel if you want to see my ibiza vlog i'll leave it in the eye for you so you can go and have a look at that bearing in mind it was like three years ago <laughs> then we have all the underwear under here i've decided to only take one bra and a few bralettes because i realize i'm literally you're not going to be wearing a bra a lot of the time because you know bikini life is there and um, plus a lot of the things that i have don't don't need a bra just like two outfits need a bra so yeah i'm gonna go with that loads of underwear loads well not loads of socks like i think there's like four pairs of socks so we plan on going to the gym we found a gym whilst we were away whilst we're, we're not even away yet as well what what <laughs> we plan on going to the gym so these are my outfits literally all of them are from fem looks apart from this nude one here that one's from cider i cannot wait to show you these outfits oh my god they're absolutely a fire so so nice so they're all my like nighttime outfits these are all my bottoms now this skirt i picked up from depop or i think it was it was hello miss jordan's instagram page so it's kind of like vintage or something like that and then i have a skirt here so i've got two skirts one pair of shorts a pair of two pairs of trousers sorry and then i have some day dresses here i have a dress from fem looks a dress from amazon and then my lovely Chi Chi clothing dress there. So three day dresses. My suitcase I feel like isn't big enough because I still need to pack other things that are downstairs as well. So over here we have my gym wear. So Whitney Simmons set here. A lovely like, is it Animal Adapt collection from Gymshark? And then an Able set here. And then all my bikini cover-ups are here as well. So this nice Primark dress a little sarong, a cover-up here, like a dress there, and then another like bottom cover-up there. And then tops here are the matching top for that skirt. Little top from Shein, the Primark top. This was from Vinted, originally from Boohoo. Cider top, and then like a little scarf top. And then a Shein top underneath there. Now I'm taking three bags with me. So this is my airport attire here, which I'll get into in a minute. But I'm taking my designer jeep bags. If you follow me on Instagram, you might remember this beautiful jeep of a bag. So this is the Chanel is it chanel boy bag chanel classic i don't really know flap let's call that flap but that's coming with me in its little duster bag i've sent that quite a few weeks ago now and I, it's literally been sat on my shelf for ages so i'm like this needs to come out and play and then we have this bag that adam got me the chloe bag which we got from a design dupe as well i think this was like 35 pound and to be honest it's a very good copy 
I really think it is. But this is going to be like a beach bag, my everyday bag. So that's coming because that's not even been out yet either. And then we have all the toiletries that are about to go in here, which we have all lined up on here. So this is my little jewellery box that Adam got me for my birthday, I think, last year. So I've got all my little bits of jewellery in there, just some little bits. Designer dupe again, of course. And then the seashells, they haven't come out in a few years. Some necklaces in there. So they're all ready to go with some earrings as well. I don't like taking too much jewellery because I don't really wear it that often. But they're my favourites. So moving on to the toiletries, we have some cotton pads. Obviously the razor. The razor I use is from Eastrid and I've realised that I've just got that all over the blooming desk. Great. So yeah, East Eastrid? Yeah, Eastrid is the name of it. I have a subscription with them. I have worked with them before. They are brilliant. Favourite razors and they're vegan, um, vegan friendly. Then we have a lot of Lossitan products because I've had loads of samples at Christmas, which I haven't used up yet from their calendar. So I have some Soap and Glory, Body Butter. We've got some hand cream, some foot cream, eye drops. I literally love these and make my eyes look so bright. I have a one minute daily glow mask just in case I fancy a little mask. Then we have some creams here. This one here, this dark blue one is so so good so is the matching serum so so nice one of my favorites and then i have these little shampoo and conditioners because there's no point me taking loads of bits so i'm hoping to use these all up whilst i'm away and then i have a shower gel and a body lotion then i have a what is this fresh moisturizing mist so that'd be nice for like just to take in my handbag so that we're not too hot and i can just spray my face with it and then i'm taking my skin proud detox toner this is absolutely gorgeous i didn't realize how good this product was but it makes me so glowy and then i have the matching not toner cleanser because we ran out of our aldi cleanser and i want to use it what we've got so i'm taking that as well as some makeup wipes my favorite ritual shower oil can't go anywhere without that i absolutely love it and then the usual toothpaste sensodyne is the one that i use the pro number one and then we have some after sun can you tell i love hawaiian tropic <laughs> We have the after sun, the island glow dry spray oil, the sun lotion and more dry oil because I didn't realise that I already had it. And then I have some hair removal cream because, we, you know, girls, I want to get rid of that bikini line. So, you know, then we have a cloth, of course, to wash my face with. I have two in case, like, I can't remember what this works well with. I have a, a muslin cloth or this, so I'm taking both. And then I have my eco-friendly, is it... What's the brand of this? Oh, so eco hair brush. I literally use that all the time. Hair clip, hair clips for my Beauty Works Jumbo one, uh, Jumbo what? My Jumbo waver. And then I have my little can of hairspray, my Dr. Pawpaw. Uh, this is vegan seven in one hair treatment. And then I have this little like smooth and sleek hair mascara in case I want to do like a sleek look, which I've not done before. So that is pretty much everything. And I need to take my camera. I need to do my nails later on i'm just currently charging the gopro and also all my toiletries are gonna go in this bag which i was gifted from ellis james at christmas time so good goes everywhere if you want to go on holiday they do some really good bags not even a vlog i really do like them so yes busy busy morning i still yet to get my little suitcase out the shed to do my hand luggage but not a lot is going in my hand luggage i'm mainly taking it just in case we bring a lot back from tenerife by the way i'm going to tenerife i forgot to mention that at the beginning we're going to tenerife tomorrow <sighs> so yeah we will get packing i will probably pop you on a time lapse and get packing to my vegan because look at all the products i'm taking with us creatine protein pancake mix clear vegan protein and then all the snacks because we're going self-catering and i've seen a lot of people that have been taking their stuff with them and because i'm the fussiest eater ever i would rather have my stuff with me that i know i will like and this is a brand new pouch from my vegan and this is like half a tub so i'm sure that it won't explode in my suitcase but we shall see currently trying to like close the creatine up but yeah i've got hopefully enough snacks for a week between the two of us for me and adam so yeah that's how it's looking so far really really hope it's going to shut because i don't think my shoes are going to fit in there so that's why i'm going to put them in my hand luggage um but the rest of it i'm a bit worried about <laughs> i hope it fits Ooh. okay so we've got pretty much everything in there apart from the shoes and my underwear but i thought you know what in case like the case goes missing you never know i'll take my underwear with me because that is the main thing having clean underwear is the most important thing to me so 
yeah, I'm going to get my other suitcase and then pack that one up. But yeah, I've just, like, tried to close it. This bit's quite hard to close, but I've done it. Closing it together, it fits, thankfully. It doesn't feel that heavy, so hopefully it'll be all right. Because it says 22 kilos of luggage that we're allowed to take. And I feel like it's about 16, 17 kilos, maybe. But Adam's going to get some weighing scales today, hopefully. So he can weigh it. If not, then we're all good. But, you know. But yeah, I'm going to get the other one now and pack my other stuff. So, guys, I'm pretty sure I have packed everything but my last minute bits which I'll end up doing at one o'clock in the morning <laughs> tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to show you the bits that I've done and then we'll wrap it up. So I just switched out some bits in here to put in these little square travel bags that you can get from Primark for like £5 for a set of like three. So all there has all my clothes, bikinis, gym wear, that bag and a towel. And then in there is toiletries, another bag, jewellery, protein bits, my waiver and some shoes. And then in my hand luggage because there's not much space in there anymore. I've got my underwear and another pair of shoes that wouldn't fit and my hairbrush because my hair gets so knotty. And then I have a hair bubble, hair clip, sunglasses, needs to get me other sunglasses as well, pack of tissues, my outfit to wear to the airport, which I'll show you actually. And then I have a notepad because like when I'm on holiday, a lot of the time I have a lot of creative thinking. So I end up bringing a, a notepad just in case I want to drop something down. Then I have on my tech gear because you know I am vlogging which is so exciting. So I'm currently charging the GoPro. So this is my little GoPro, GoPro? <laughs> GoPro um, tripod. This was so freaking expensive and it's not even that long. This is how it works. It's actually really cute. It literally just sits like that. It looks like a little Minecraft creeper to be fair. I'm not even a gamer, but <laughs> yeah. So that just clips in there and holds the GoPro in place. This is for this camera. I'm pretty sure that that'll, yeah, that'll be fine on there. And um, this is my DSLR. I might vlog on this yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough memory on my phone, but I might alternate. So the camera quality might be like in and out. Well, it'll probably be the same to be fair because like this is a really good quality camera. And then this is my GoPro water tripod. This is something I got cheap off eBay. Um, I think it's like £10 or something and it, it literally floats as well so this is coming to Siam Park because that is going to be happening in the vlog so I really hope that it works for that haven't used my GoPro since we went to Spain I think in Santa Susana I'll leave the link in the eye for that vlog again it's a very very old vlog but you'll see me using the GoPro in there but hopefully it'll be quite alright so outfit wise I'm going to be taking a little hat and a little like loungewear set shorts and a crop top from Sid and Owl's In Style Collection. Because this was one of my favourite outfits of theirs. And I'm going to be wearing that with some socks and some feelers. Then of course in my handbag, which is here. Literally look at my neck. I have this little bag here, which is going to have my clip that's always attached to the side of it. My purse, my lip balm. My favourite lip balm is always the Carmex. Can't go anywhere without it. That will have my passport in there, phone. And then, of course, I need to pack my chargers and stuff. And my power bank, which I'll pack in the morning. And my toothbrush. I can't forget my toothbrush. And passport, because I haven't got my passport out yet. So that is the most important thing. Um, and then I need to take a jacket with me as well. My North Face one is coming, so that will go in my hand luggage as well. But I'll be wearing it to the airport, because no doubt it'll be cold in the morning. So, yeah, I say in the morning, it's literally in the middle of the night. <laughs> looking forward to that part i'm now going to post some parcels from a vintage that you guys have bought off me thank you if you have um i've got so many parcels downstairs that need to be sent thank you so much if you bought something i have loads more left down there so if you want to check out my vintage it's always linked down below in every single video if not it's just isabel Celine. if you want to go find me on there but other than that thank you so so much for watching please do subscribe as the next vlog will be the tenerife vlog <laughs> so exciting thank you so so much for watching please do give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe and i'll see you in the tenerife vlog bye